one sprint, 10 minutes, get a few words on the page. You can do this. Let's do it together. Hey, you guys. Oh, I just realized this mess behind me. Pay no attention to the mess. Um, it is Sunday, November 8th, and I am feeling more like myself now that I've had a shower and kind of gotten ready a little bit. Spent some time with the kids. We had lunch. It is now 2.39 p.m., and I am not ready to jump right back into writing. I am tired, but I am going to avoid taking a nap because I get headaches really bad when I take a nap, and I know that's going to mess up my sleep schedule. I do want to write some this afternoon. Obviously, I need to. I need to be writing every day, but I am going to make a target run and take back some <laughs> diapers that my cousin accidentally sent to our house instead of her own house and maybe pick up some Christmas decor. We leave for Disney in 22 days, which I'm so excited about. That'll be a full week at Disney and I cannot wait. And it's just going to be amazing family time for us. So I'm going to look around and see if they have at Target any like Mickey Mouse shirts or sweatshirts or anything that we could wear to Disney because I don't have all our outfits planned out or anything like that. I'm a little bit behind. Things have just been too busy, but it should be kind of fun to look around, maybe grab a coffee while I'm there and just kind of enjoy a little Starbucks trip while the baby is napping. So let's get going. Oh, also just a little side note, if you're looking for masks, my favorite masks so far for myself have been these very simple ones from Old Navy. I love them. When I saw them, I was like, oh, I'm not sure that's going to fit right, but they fit so well on my face. Maybe I have a slightly larger face than some women, but it's nice because the straps are adjustable. So I highly recommend the Old Navy masks just to kind of show you our little family mask stash. We wash them once a week, but we actually have quite a few kind of saved up. Oh, I've got this to take to recycle too, this battery. So we just are using like these, I think used to hold lunch meat and we just kind of held on to them. I have a pretty pink one, but just a way to kind of reuse some plastics in our household. So my son is wearing a mask every single day at school. School, and he likes these Janu masks. You can get them in a five pack for $20. So not that expensive and they're really good quality. And he likes them because he feels like he can breathe pretty well in them. And then he also has some of these cute ones that I got him from Old Navy, which he also really likes. So he has the Janu in black and this blue color. And then he just has a few random uh, designs. We bought so many different masks from friends and Etsy sellers and stuff like that and none of them ever really seemed to fit well to be honest. So these Janu masks and the Old Navy ones have been the best so far. We had bought some for him from Target but they just didn't fit him. They were too big. So my husband again also is using the same Janu masks but in the adult size and he has some in gray and black. And then I have <laughs> some of this was like a five pack I think for $25 from Old Navy, which I really love those the best. And then I also have some of the same Janu masks for myself that are pink. So lots of colors on the Janu site. So and design different designs and stuff. I do have a few other random ones like a Hello Kitty mask and things like that. So just it's becoming now a staple of our life in COVID-19 pandemic world. So if you're looking for a way to store, I know it doesn't look super cute, but it does keep them right here by the door so that when we're heading out, we can just grab a mask. And obviously we don't have any for Evie because she's only a year old. But anyway, <laughs> excuse me, y'all are getting to see the real, real about this kitchen and stuff. But anyway, um, let's get going. I'm excited to head to Target and uh, have some kind of fun time for a bit. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight
it never ends Let's be a more than friends Oh my gosh, I spent way too much money. I will do a haul with you guys and maybe a decorate with me before this month is over. But look at this cute garland. I got um, some lights and some of these. <laughs> I can smell these like all the way across the room like uh, pine cones that have the cinnamon smell. This little Noel sign is super cute that I got from Michael's because I had to go, my excuse is that I had to go by Best Buy anyway to recycle that battery. So I got a chance to go to Michael's since it was next door. And then at Target, I got some new pillows. I got matching pajamas for the family. I got some little arrangements, a new blanket that'll kind of decorate the place a little bit and some other little decor. How cute is this little mug? I love it. It's so cute. So lots of cute stuff at Target. I also got a little Mandalorian Pez dispenser with the little child. I love it. I'm obsessed. So lots of cute stuff at Target. And like I said, hopefully I'll do maybe a clean and decorate with me for the holidays before Nano is up. But the good thing is sometimes a little shopping trip can rejuvenate the soul. I know it was only about an hour being out of the house, maybe an hour and a half, but it just felt good to get out of the house after such a long night of writing. So now I'm going to spend some time with the fam and then I'll be back to write later. Hey everybody. So obviously I am back at home and it is now 9:48. I'm currently uploading the vlog from yesterday's write-a-thon and I used to always call these write-a-paloozas. So I think I started them back in 2012 when I started going to hotels or Airbnbs and things like that. And I always called them write a paloozas and that was always super fun. So I think I need to bring that back. So let me know if you guys enjoyed yesterday's vlog. Today was a much more chill day because obviously a little bit tired, a little bit, you know, burned out and don't want to push myself past a certain limit. But the show must go on because the even though I'm ahead with Nano, I have a pre-order on this book. So I have to get it done. But it's also been a time for family. I had that target run. I got a lot of errands done today. I did not get my planning done, but I had to take that blue nail polish off and it still is like, Ew. so I would like a chance tonight to actually sit down and put some nail polish on, maybe binge watch a few YouTube channels. Let me know who your other favorite YouTubers are. Hopefully I'm one of them, but let me know who your other favorite YouTubers are to watch. I have some Natalia Lee videos to catch up on. I also love watching Kaylin Nicholson and um, there's just so many people. I haven't even watched Amanda Rach Lee's bullet journal set up for the month of November yet so I might do that but it's already almost 10 and I barely got any sleep last night so I probably should just go to bed but I do want to make sure that this is not a zero day for me. So while that video is uploading and I'm getting everything done there I am going to do a writing sprint so I'm just going to do it right down here in my other office downstairs and I'm going to get to work. So let's make this not a zero day. So if you're sitting there right now watching this in the evening one sprint 10 minutes get a few words on the page, you can do this. Let's do it together. Hey, so not a zero day at least. Well, it wasn't going to be technically a zero day since all of those late night hotel writing got in there as well. But for actually tonight writing, I got 829 words. So that's what you can accomplish if you just say, I don't care how exhausted I am, I'm going to get one sprint. And whether you end up with 89 words or 800 words, it's worth it to just keep going. And so that puts me at... 
8196 total for the day. And I'm at 19,386 so far for Nano, even though it's two separate projects. Um, you can see, I think you can see here, yeah, I changed the title to multiple projects so that it would show that I'm kind of working on several at a time. And I'm almost to that 20,000 word goal here and I'm a little bit ahead and like I said even though I'm ahead on nano I'm behind on my book for pre-order so it's going to be a long few days but I know it's going to be worth it too. So as I was updating my word count, I realized that I did not give myself my 10,000 word and 20,000 word reward. So I am, let's see, I'm still about 620 words shy of my 20,000 reward. But for 10,000, I did actually buy for myself this sort of Southern charm washi that has some Charleston scenes there. So you've got kind of some Charleston uh, rainbow row and things like that. And I have been wanting this washi for a while. So I now have some new washi tape, which I'm very excited about. I'm going to be using this in my planner this week because it's very kind of springtime, not very fall or winter, but I'm still going to use it because I've been looking forward to it. I do have another reward set aside for myself for 20000 And even if it's something small, I think this cost maybe like $5 when I got it because I got it on sale. It doesn't have to be something huge, but just something that you know you'll love. So for me, washi tape is always something I will love. Um, and I'm looking forward to earning that 20,000 word reward tomorrow, which is something I got during some of the Prime Day stuff on Amazon. So I can't wait for that. But if you have not written yet today, take 20 minutes and get some words in so that you can call it a win for the day. Um, I am going to go paint my nails. Hopefully they'll look so much better. And I'm going to just chill out for maybe about 30 minutes and finish my nails and then go to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.